Morning guys, welcome back to Full Tilt Grading. Happy Monday. We are at the best place on earth, the cat dealer. Lots of yellow equipment all around us. The cat dealer we're located at is in Ben Salem. It's a Foley cat. We're here to pick up our new demo, 303.5 CRE2. We are trying to demo one of these to see if we're gonna go with a 303.5 or a 304. Um, not too sure exactly what we're gonna do yet. So stick with us, we'll let you know. We're gonna demo this machine and see how we like it. So we finally made it to the site. We're working down in Greenwood, Delaware. It's about a hundred miles from where we live, roughly, maybe a little more. We got our new trailer we just picked up on Saturday, a cam superline, very similar to our other black cam. This one just has a little bit heavier axles and get a little bit more payload out of it. Same exact trailer lengthwise besides with our demo cat 303.5 on it. Looking pretty good. So for this job, we're gonna be working for T-Mobile, putting in a big concrete pad with a bunch of pipes stubbed up into them. We also have to put in a propane pad um, for a propane tank. We're gonna be doing some grounding, all the good stuff we always do. Ed's gonna start by stripping out the stone, peeling back the fabric, and then laying out. So let's get started. this existing ground ring and tie into it. So on these cell sites you always have a separate power ring for grounding and then the whole fence also has its own ground ring and then each individual carrier has their own ground ring for their site and they all have to be tied into each other so they work properly. Yep.
see a trench line there. Ed just found a piece of berry tape and called it over. He asked me to spot him. And he uncovers this. You guys see that trench line? And there's another one there. That's how we know. other whips on the ground here are all going to be for ice bridge posts. That trench back there, we didn't find anything, but we didn't have to because we went right over the top of whatever was there. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to do some layout on our pad over here. The edge just cleared out some stone. Let's see where this pad's going to sit exactly. Right, guys we got our layout all done the overall dimensions of this pad are going to be 20 feet by 10 feet wide the pad is three feet off the fence and then 18 foot three off that fence over there straight ahead so what we did is we measured off that 18 three and then we took our tape and that paint line and went 20 foot out that way to get our layout. The prints are always kind of vague, you gotta do the math yourself. Now on the print it shows a three by three pad for a propane tank we're gonna put in here. We got a bunch more grounding to do tomorrow. All over the place over here. We'll go over that in the morning. So now we're gonna backfill this trunk we opened up. We have a job to go look at today so we're gonna get out of here at a decent time go get our materials and go home rest up and then we're gonna be staying out of town the rest of the week 
We'll get this job knocked out quicker that way. The hotel is about five minutes down the street. We spent a lot of time down here last year, if you guys don't remember. 